clock is brought to you by Modelo. Oh! 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 Hello, fight fans. Are you ready for a wild ride through the history of the UFC's most jaw-dropping knockouts? Let us kick off with the UFC 239 showdown between Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, then Funky Askren. This grudge match was so hyped, you could feel the tension through the TV screen. Both fighters had something to prove, and boy, did they deliver. Masvidal came charging out of the gate like a bull ready to destroy his opponent, and boy, he did. He ran towards Askren and unleashed a brutal flying knee to the face. Askren's wrestling instinct to shoot for a takedown didn't work out in his favor this time. And just like that, it was over. Five seconds, folks. Five seconds, and Masvidal claimed the title for the fastest knockout in UFC history. What a terrifying knockout to start our list. Let's freaking go. Now, let us talk about Mark Super Samoan Hunt and Stefan Skyscraper Struve. A clash of the heavyweights that had fans on the edge of their seats. These two warriors were ready to put on a show and deliver they did. It was a back and forth war. Hunt, with his fists of fury, was throwing those power punches like he was trying to demolish a brick wall. Struve, a seven foot giant, was like a skyscraper swaying in a hurricane trying to weather the storm. But then in the third round, Hunt connected a power punch, hurting Struve, forcing him to retreat. Hunt smelled the blood and capitalized, connecting a powerful left hook that sent Struve crashing to the mat like a felled tree. It was like watching a Hollywood blockbuster where the good guy finally takes down the giant villain. What a superb walk-off knockout. Next up, the enigmatic Yuri Prohaska and his battle against Dominic Reyes. Prohaska's fighting style is like a whirlwind mixed with a carnival ride. You never know what you'll get, but it's always an unforgettable experience. Both fighters were flinging strikes like there was a 50% off sale on punches. Prohaska was like a Tasmanian devil, always on the attack, and Reyes tried to counterpunch his way to victory. At one point, Reyes even stunned Prohaska with a beautiful combination, but our human tornado was just getting started. He threw a violent spinning back elbow that shut the lights out for Reyes. Beautiful well-timed knockout. It was like watching a ballet of destruction, the kind you can only find in the UFC. Ah, the legendary battle between Rashad Sugar Evans and Chuck the Iceman Liddell. This was the kind of fight that MMA fans dream about. Two explosive fighters with knockout power. They danced around like they were competing in a game of tag, but instead of tagging each other, they were tagging each other with knockout punches. Rashad showed some slick footwork to avoid Liddell's powerful right hand, but he wasn't mounting much offense himself. And then, like a bolt of lightning, Rashad unleashed his own right hand from the heavens. Liddell was caught while throwing an uppercut and went down like a sack of potatoes. The Iceman was knocked out cold. Now let's talk about Michael Chandler and Tony Elkakui Ferguson, a battle of the lightweight titans. This fight was like a roller coaster of emotions, with ups and downs that had fans on the edge of their seats. In the first round, Ferguson was channeling his elusive self, landing some significant blows, particularly one to Chandler's right eye. It was like Chandler was getting caught in a tornado of Ferguson's punches. But Chandler wasn't about to back down. In the second round, he stepped forward with determination, saw an opening, and delivered a front face kick that looked more like a 60-yard field goal attempt. And boom, Ferguson was out cold. Scary knockout indeed. Let's move on to Gabriel Gonzaga versus the legendary Mirko Krokop. Krokop was famous for his devastating head kicks. It was right leg hospital or left leg cemetery, but little did we know a massive turn of events unfolded. They were trading punches like it was a heavyweight fireworks show, but then in a moment that stunned the world, Gonzaga decided to try a head kick of his own. And boy, did he succeed. He connected with Krokop's head like he was aiming for the bullseye. Krokop looked dazed and saw stars like he was at an intergalactic party. 
It was a knockout heard around the world and one of those moments that redefines the unpredictability of the UFC. What an unforeseeable, beautiful knockout. Next up, we have the seasoned veterans Matt, the Immortal Brown, and Diego, the Nightmare Sanchez. These two warriors were locked in a battle of wills, and it was a fight that had us all cheering and cringing at the same time. From the get-go, Sanchez rushed across the cage like a man on a mission. He landed a right hand and quickly looked for a takedown, but Brown, like a fortress, defended every attempt. Then in a moment of brilliance, Sanchez threw a liver kick that briefly hurt Brown, but instead of backing down, Brown fired back with a devastating elbow that left Sanchez face planted on the canvas. The end came at the three minute 44 second mark of the opening round, but it felt like we had witnessed a lifetime of action in those minutes. Before we continue, let me ask you something. Aren't we enjoying these spectacular, beautiful knockouts? So if you are indeed enjoying the content, please like and subscribe to our channel and turn those notifications on so you won't miss some of the best MMA content in the platform. Moving on now, we go back to UFC 100, a night that will forever haunt Michael Bisping. The man, the myth, the legend, Dan Hendo Henderson delivered arguably one of the most legendary knockouts ever in the history of the UFC. Hendo's trademark right hand landed right on the button, and Bisping collapsed unconscious immediately after. But the best part came right after when Hendo elevated himself and landed the legendary H-bomb, and boom! That's all she wrote. A dish of karma had been served for Big Mouth Bisping. What a legendary knockout that was. Now let's talk about the Predator, Francis Nagano, and his meeting with Alistair the Ream Overeem. It was a clash of the titans, and Nagano proved he's a force to be reckoned with. Overeem thought he could use his clinch game to control Nagano's power, but the Predator had other plans. He flipped the script and delivered a massive left uppercut from hell that turned Overeem's consciousness off. Google the word scary, you might find this jewel of a knockout. All right, now brace yourselves for the spinning heel kick that broke the internet. Uriah Hall faced Adam Sello in the tough house, and it was like watching a master of martial arts versus a crash test dummy. Hall was picking Sello apart like an artist, but it was that spinning heel kick that left us all jaw dropped. Sello hit the canvas like a sack of potatoes, and even Hall himself couldn't believe that he had just pulled off. Next up, we have the former middle champion Luke Rockhold going up in weight class and facing the raw Polish power, the former light heavyweight champion Jan Blokowicz. Both men had one punch knockout power, so we all knew this fight wasn't going the distance, and boy did we not get disappointed. After an even first round where both fighters landed, Blokowicz decided to take it up a notch and started putting the pressure on Rockhold on the second. Rockhold responded by clinching against the cage to alleviate some of that pressure off, but out of nowhere, Blokovic separated from the clinch that left Rockhold open with his chin up, way up in the air, and boom! A Polish raw power unleashed a brutal left hook that sent Rockhold to the canvas just to be followed by some extra ground and pound to seal the deal. Boy, that was a knockout to remember. Now let's talk about this spinning wheel kick heard round the world. Edson Barbosa unleashed his deadly techniques against Terry Edom, and it was like something out of a martial arts movie. Barbosa's leg kicks were already causing damage, but then he took it up a notch. That spinning wheel kick caught Edom flush on the jaw. Down he went like a sack of coconuts. Hey, at least he's part of one of the best knockouts in history, and he's just on the wrong side of it. Moving on, we go to Madison Square Garden where the stage was set for an epic knockout. Kevin Lee faced Gregor Gillespie, and let me tell you, the Motown phenom didn't disappoint. The fight started with a cautious approach from both fighters, but then things started heating up and both starting exchanging heavy shots. Then at the two minutes with 45 second mark, Lee landed a right hand followed by a brutal head kick that sent Gillespie to the realm of the shadows causing the arena to erupt on adrenaline and euphoria. This indeed was a scary but equally beautiful knockout. Last but not least, we got the master of karate, Leota the Dragon Mashida, facing the phenom Vitor Belfort. 
the Brazilian Titans were destined to crash at this epic battle in their home country of Brazil. The two fighters started cautious in the first round, then risking much, but Machida had already started setting up his brutal knockout. He repeatedly was implementing the front kick to Belfort's gut, and on the second round, the trap was set. The dragon faked going to the gut, but instead goes straight up to the chin with a front kick, disconnecting consciousness from the phenom. Oh boy, what a brutal but at the same time beautiful knockout. There you have it, fight fans. 14 of the scariest knockout moments that will forever be etched in UFC history. These fighters showed us the power, the artistry, and the unexpected twists that make MMA so thrilling. Even more satisfying to see is the brutal respect that, either on victory or defeat, these true martial artists show to one another. What do you think of this knockout? Go ahead and tell us in the comment section which one is your favorite. And if it's not on today's video, don't be shy and feel welcome to share your own list. Hey, I might even steal it and make a video about it. So until next time, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you truly enjoy the content. Until then, so long fight fans. See you next time.